My character is Igor in the film, which is a character that is not in the book and sort of came to life through various film iterations beforehand. And uh, yeah, I'm playing him. And what the thing I loved about him was that he there's an incredible sweetness to him, like the fact that he's he's never known anything approaching real kindness or compassion, and yet he is so capable still of being compassionate and being kind. It's more of a human story. It's about Igor, from my point of view, it's about Igor trying to fight his way to personhood. Um, while also trying to control an insane person, which is Victor Frankenstein, and played wonderfully by James. It was 1850s London was the, you know, I don't know, it was like being in like the Silicon Valley in the 90s. Like it was the forefront of everything technologically in the world. And we try and capture a kind of some of that energy and that youth and that sense of the past kind of being ripped up and us not really knowing what this new world is that we're going into. The sets are ridiculous. Eve Stewart, our production designer, uh, who did Les Mis and a bunch of other stuff, and I, I'm sure is award-winning. I don't have those exact things, but I'm sure she is. Um, she did just an amazing job on it. I didn't know James would be playing Frankenstein when, when we, uh, when, when we, when I agreed to do it. But when he said yes, I was just like over the moon because I mean, what he brings to that character as well, and and our relationship together is is hopefully one of the good things. Is one of the really like fun things about the movie. They might expect a guy with a hunchback, they might expect uh, a mad scientist with crazy hair flicking switches and lightning and him maybe saying something like, live or it's alive or breathe or something like that. Uh, you will get all that because we, we wanted to hit those cliches and hit them hard. But what was really exciting was giving the audience those cliches that they know and love and then surprising them with lots of other stuff. The idea of working with Dan in that part I thought it was really surprising casting, but really smart casting, because he literally goes from like an animal to a real civilized man. Um, and through that, I get to do everything between being his best friend and abusing him physically and emotionally. So uh, it, was, it gave us an opportunity to do a lot of good work. What's surprising about this movie, which Max Landis, the writer, did really brilliantly, he didn't just want to make it Mary Shelley's, he didn't want to just make it Mel Brooks comedy, he didn't want to just make it the camp sort of horror of the early black and white movies, and he didn't just want to make it an, an action movie. He wanted to make it all of those things. Um, and, and that's really audacious, but he's got the goods to, to pull it off. Daniel and I are both very, I think we're cut from the same cloth in a lot of ways. We like working hard, we hit it, quite directly, um, we don't mess around and we, we sort of confront the material head on and, and we want to make bold decisions and, and carry them out with a lot of energy. I love the dynamic between the two lead characters, it was funny, upsetting, thrilling, it was fueled with action, pathos, lots of, lots of big emotional stuff, but also like loads of action and comedy. The idea of what James and Daniel had to endure during the filming of this was quite amazing. You know, they got thrown around, and I tried to do everything through the camera. So, you know, they would always look at me with fear, like, "What do you want to do now?" And I'd be like, "Well, well, just jump over here and do this, and jump over and, and dangle from a stairwell, you know, 100 foot up in the air." And Daniel would be like, "Okay," you know. And so, they were amazing, and they were so up for it. You know, um, I, I don't want their, their, their bill from their chiropractor, though. That's the only thing. I think when people see this movie, they're always surprised. Because it's called Victor Frankenstein and they expect a big monster and that's it. That's all people ever say to me, oh, where's the monster? So we give them all that, but we give them relationship. We give them a really strong bond between these two men. And that's the heart of the film. I mean, that is the real heart of the movie.